How you doing? 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 It's Red Zone News. Check it out, man. We got, uh, let me explain some first. <coughs> All the single parents out there, what's going on? Uh, these kids are getting worse by the generation. They're getting worse and worse and worse. Okay? <coughs> There's certain kids that you know that's going to grow up to be behind freaking bars. Like it's no hope for them. Because they was already raised by whoever raised them that called themselves parents. But something happened in Baltimore. Okay? 12 and 14-year-old boys arrested for allegedly gang raping a 19-year-old girl. You know, when I was a kid, man, that didn't happen, okay? I might have grabbed at a girl's butt or <coughs> try to sneak a kiss. But <laughs> this woman right here, this, this right here? Game raping in the alley? Pretty much unheard of. Okay? And as simple as that. You know, when you were a kid, you were in an argument. You had people arguing and so forth and so on. And, you know, you're in a crowd looking at the argument trying to catch a smooch. <laughs> that was my childhood. You no, know, a little small part of my childhood. But compared to these cats, these little children ain't even cats, they're kittens. 12 and 14 year old boys arrested for allegedly gang raping a 19 year old girl. Totally insane. Unheard of. I'm shocked. I was shocked when I actually saw this. So, I'm going to show you the young men. They on, they on, the, they on um, the board here, I'm sure. And here we go. Baltimore, three 14-year-old teens and a 12-year-old boy are now facing charges and connected with alleged gang rape of a 19-year-old woman. Whom they abducted after she stepped off out of the bus in Baltimore. Will Wimber, Wimber Ramos, Philip Warrell, and Niall <clears throat> who are all 14 years old were charged as an adult with first and second degree rape after the sexual assault that happened on the night of February 6th. Charging the adult for rape. That means they're going to the big pen. They ain't going to Spofford. They're sending these little kids to the big pen now. Okay? There's no Spofford. They're getting rid of Spofford. And they're getting all rid of these um, small little camps of jails they be taking vacations from their families from. Okay? They're going to the big house. Okay? And if they're not going to the big house... They will be going to the big house when they get 19, and that's not too far away. A 12-year-old boy who was with them at the scene during the sexual act was also charged, but as a juvenile. He faces charges of first-degree rape, third, fourth-degree sex offense, conspiracy to kidnap, conspiracy to robbery, perverted practice, and illegal, I mean, illegally possessing a handgun. All those charges were within the act. They tried to um, find everything on him, on them, because they're little kids. And there's some ruthless little freaking kid, too. Shit. You know what remind me of? Remind me of uh, Hostile. The little fucking, the little kids running around talking about giving me candy. Exactly what I'm talking about. Okay? The victim, the victim, a 19-year-old woman whom name wasn't released, 
had re reportedly just got off a bus and was walking back to her house in Baltimore when the teen and the boy approached her and threatened her with a handgun. She was forced to a backyard full of rubbish, beer bottles, and old mat mattresses where she was allegedly raped at gunpoint. Points, police said, Dang, could they find any better place? I mean, really, a back alley? Beer bottles? Mattresses? Where the hell these kids live at? Police said that as the three teens were sexually assaulted, the woman, neighbors heard the noise, went out of their house to identify where it is coming from. The fourth attackers were interrupted and they fled and from the scene. Two of them were caught later on when school police recognized them. School police cooperated with cooperated with sex offender detectives and the two other suspects were captured after they were identified from the photos. So they got caught going to school. <laughs> they got caught going to school and uh, you know and the police the police that, that was in the school saw them. You wonder why they got cops in schools. Little criminals like this. These kids are getting hardened and hardened and hardened. They hate to see when they grow up. Okay? And as simple as that, if they grow up, okay, these people, these, these, these cats on a one-way ticket to prison. There's no way around it. But where's the parents? You see any blaming of the parents? You know what they need to do? They need to stick the faces of the parents on side with their kids. Maybe something positive will happen. Maybe they'll start raising them correctly. Maybe they'll start giving them darn what they're doing. But since that's not going to happen because, hey, the money is not in correcting the problem. The money is in perpetuating the problem. So we can get more prisoners in jail. And while we got our prisons, all prisons, who was... Uh, probably owned. We can keep stocking their jails up. But don't put no mothers in there. Don't put no fathers on there beside their kids. Man. They might actually try to be a parent. God heavens. That will happen. This is Red Zone News. Signing off.